Could this possibly be that itch scratch we've all been patiently waiting for since SWAT 4? Breach and clear on it. Definitely gonna take a look at everything that's available so far. What's good everyone? Tom here from Ritual Interactive, and it is with incredible pleasure that I get to present to you today the first episode of the Tactical Squad SWAT Stories Devlog. Reach and clear on it. Tactical Squad SWAT Stories is an indie game collaboration between Red Mountain Games and Ritual Interactive. Here's our project in a nutshell for those of our viewers who are only now finding out about it. In the game, you take on the role of a Special Forces Unit's commanding officer. You issue orders to your squad members in real time to successfully complete the objectives of your mission. But that sounds much simpler than it really is. The missions are going to be varied, and you'll be facing off against hardened criminals in potentially lethal circumstances where innocents can get hurt. So employ the right tactics, adapt to the situation, and use the most effective equipment. Also, make sure to think about all of that really fast. In this episode, we showcase some key game features as well as the technical side of development progress, some gameplay mechanics, the game's detailed environment, and level design. This all counts towards the Tactical Squad demo that we'll be releasing later this year, so stay tuned. It's not just about giving orders and winning gunfights. Very often the best solution is to use your wide array of gadgets, like body cams, mirrors, lockpicks, and even C2 explosives. After all, you and your team are here to defuse a delicate situation, arrest suspects, gather evidence, and most of all, avoid civilian casualties. The mission's levels will feature a solid number of objects to make sure that the game's environment is rich and interesting to traverse. Alright, so here in Tactical Squad SWAT Stories, you'll be taking on the commanding role for an advanced special weapons and tactics team. Tactical Squad places great focus on realism, drawing not only from the rich history of tactical games, but also real-life situations where deployment of similar units was necessary. There you go, boys. Rich history of tactical games. You know they're drawing inspiration from SWAT 4. Your squad members communicate with each other, respond to situations, and combat hostiles. Make sure you issue the correct orders, but be aware that you'll be in the middle of the action performing many tasks yourself. As a highly trained operator and member of a key tactical unit, you and your people will be sent on a number of highly dangerous missions. As active participants of these operations, you and your agents will also see some intricate events unfold in front of your very eyes. Become the witness of conspiracies, criminal activities, and some very dangerous games. Your real enemies may just be where you least expect them. Now there is of course no chance of clearing objectives without the right resources, both in terms of people and equipment, Make sure your squad consists of the right specialists, depending on what you're looking to accomplish. From scouts, assault troops, riot controllers, technicians, snipers, you have a plethora of different type of personnel to deploy. But where would they be without their highly specialized equipment? Have your SWAT officers gear up using top quality items, with three different categories distinguished among them. You have your weapons, semi-automatic pistols, some machine guns, automatic rifles, shotguns, as well as an array of non-lethal measures. You have your apparel, combat uniforms, Kevlar vests, riot shields, helmets, comm units, and lastly, accessories. Grenades, high explosives, first aid, drones, hacking devices, and other useful electronic gadgets. Every situation you and your squad end up in requires careful assessment if you want to bring everyone back to headquarters in one piece. Pay attention to the briefing and study whatever intel you get before you set out to complete the mission. Tactical Squad is set in a number of different settings, from offices to industrial compounds to even a sprawling old mansion. It is up to you to know the paths for your team to take, the available cover, and the potential hazards in form of armed hostiles and innocent bystanders. Always be aware of your surroundings or suffer the consequences. Always know what you're doing, but more importantly, know why you're doing it. The game features missions with a number of different objectives. 
from eliminating bloodthirsty terrorists, capturing ruthless criminals, rescuing vulnerable hostages, recovering valuable intel, to clearing key locations of hostiles. Use your tactical wit to the best of your abilities. Don't leave anything up to chance by using a special system of order queuing to ensure a smooth sequence of actions among your units. Embark on missions as a solo operative or with the assistance of your friends in co-op mode. Keep your head down and keep it clear, but press on and complete that mission. A good strategy is the key to succeeding in Tactical Squad. Tactical Squad SWAT Stories Oh, gosh, it's a tongue twister. Maybe they'll change the name because they have a lot of development left. Well, not really. The game is slated to release in another year in a month, November 2022. Now, I'm sure you're thinking like me, a little. it looks a little bit janky, but it doesn't look horrible. I mean, it's kind of like Zero Hour in the appearance of the graphics. But then you have these pictures that I'm going to show you guys that are, for some reason look much better than the gameplay I just showed you. But this game does have a long way to go, so I'm sure a lot of these graphical assets are just placeholder. What was your first tactical game? Was it SWAT 4 like so many people say? Or are you an old fart like me and remember the original Rainbow Six so fondly? I can still remember the map's road, hacienda, I remember them like the back of my hand. Here's what the developer called like an AI map. I know it looks a little crazy and it kind of really can't make much of it, but that's basically all the different paths the AI may be able to take. I would imagine depending on what happens, what the player does, these are all different things and ways the AI can react. And then lastly, we're going to show off the little weapon customization. Hopefully they keep it like this. I love the whole 3D being able to manipulate the image. You always see development like this, and then when the game comes out, it's just like a static image. But I must say, what they're showing here is awesome. Now, I don't know if any of you played World War III, but when it comes to customization, that game that's just made it back to market definitely takes the cake. However, this whole system looks very, very similar. Now, I highly doubt the amount of attachments and the amount of things you'll actually be able to put on the gun is there like World War III, but I'm loving the 3D image. Now, like I said, for some reason, these still screenshots we're going to look at have such a better quality than the gameplay we were checking out. Not only are the graphics better, but you can see just more objects in each picture. More furniture, more pictures, knickknacks, whatever it might be just loaded with beautiful textures. My favorite pick out of the bunch has got to be the eyes wide shut secret society party and it brings me back to the description when it said as active participants of these operations you and your agents will also see some intricate events unfold in front of your very eyes. Become the witness of conspiracies, criminal activities, and some very dangerous games. Are we going to roll up on, like, uh, Hunger Games? Or if any of you have seen the new Squid Games? But you definitely got to see Eyes Wide Shut if you've never seen it. Tom Cruise, Nicole Kidman. I think they actually fell in love on the set. And it was Stanley Kubrick, the decorated director. It was his last movie. And speaking of conspiracies, a lot of people say he was taken out because he was fitting to release too much information within that movie. Anyway, this whole conspiracy thing is definitely intriguing the hell out of me. Never really see too much of this kind of thing in video games. Well, at least not this realistic. But anyway, are you pumped about this game? Is it giving you SWAT 4 vibes or OG Rainbow Six? Let me know what you think down in the comments. Also, I forgot to mention in the beginning of the video, of course, we're giving away Steam Keys. We got that new Naval Art Steam Key to give away too. If you missed that video, check that out, man. Really cool. And to enter the weekly Steam Key giveaway is super simple. Every week you gotta like a video. Of course, be subscribed to the YouTube channel. Join our little Discord community, it's linked in the bio. And drop a comment. Say whatever you'd like, but within your comment, leave your Discord name and number. That's gonna work as your ticket stub. Also, consider becoming a channel member. You'll support me and my channel. And it'll also give every week's entry double the entry. That's right, it'll give you a huge leg up in each week's giveaway, and you'll support the channel. And speaking of the devil, Cobra General, come on down, collect your prize. You are this week's winner. Just DM me on Discord and I'll get that right to you.
Of course, I can't leave without giving a huge shout out to my channel members, my inspiration. Consider joining the Millsimp Minions. Click the blue join button below. I also have a Patreon linked in the description. Either or gets you access. We got a lot of stuff coming up in the future, so stay tuned. I just gotta find the time to make it. We got the top 10 Millsim clips of the month coming soon. A lot of future content to the games we love coming. Just bear with me. One of these weeks I'm not working 60 hours and it's all gonna go down. Downtown Charlie Brown. I mean, that makes no sense. Anyway, love you guys. See you in the next one. Y'all be good to each other.